Hi everybody, this is uh, an attempt to do a live coding exercise and we're going to be trying to solve problem 42 from projecteuler.net uh, I've not tried this before, in fact I've not even prepped this beyond having a quick look at the text file that they supply that contains a whole bunch of words uh, I'm going to be trying to solve this using Haskell so let's get on and see what we can do uh, the words text file seems to be comma separated and all the words seem to be double quoted so an obvious thing to get going will be to save that file out and uh, then try to load it in and do something useful with it so let's write ourselves a Haskell file and uh, let's have a think about loading those words load words is going to produce an IO list of string with a bit of luck because it's going to read a file in and split it up and give us back the strings. Now I happen to know that there's a really really handy uh, module called uh, data.list.split which uh, gives us a split on method that looks a bit like that and uh, if I load it and run it then you can see that it splits things up for us by commas so we're going to be using that to get our uh, our contents separated so load words is an IO thunk function so we can use the do sugar so let's get all words from read file words dot text to start now we're going to try to split it up so quoted words is split on comma of all words and uh, now they also contain uh, double quotes so let's strip those out so we're going to finally we're going to return um, map filter on not equal to double quote over quoted words and let's read that in and have a go so uh, load p42 success uh, load words that looks like a Haskell list which doesn't have additional double quotes so we're good to go we have some words now, one of the things that this is defining is the nth term of a triangle number, of the triangle sequence, sorry, is a half n times n plus 1. So the first 10 triangle numbers are 1, 3, 6, 10, and so on. So a good thing to do would be to write ourselves a triangle number. So t num of n is equal to uh, n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and let's just test that t num 1 is 1 and t num 10 is 55 which matches the example given for the word sky now we want something that can convert a word to its uh, word value. So let's say we're going to have word value of s is equal to um, actually let's be a little bit cleverer here. Word value of an empty word is equal to zero. The word value of any character followed by some more characters is equal to the character value of that plus the word value of what's left where the character value of C is going to be well we need one for A and uh, so on so let's have a quick think about this um, if we say from enum of A 
we get 65, which is a rather convenient thing. So what we could do is simply say that it is from enum of C minus from enum of A plus 1, since we want A to be equal to 1. And uh, Emacs is just telling me that there's a parse error in the pattern, so I need to put brackets around that. And lo and behold, we should be able to uh, do something with this. So let's reload our file and let's calculate the word value of sky and we get 55, which was our test input. So this is all looking good. So what we should be able to do now is if we uh, get all of our words in, which we can do by saying words come, this W comes from uh, load words, W is our list. If we map word value over W, sorry, there we go, then we have our word values for all of our words. We want to know now whether or not that value is a triangle number. So how are we going to achieve that? Well, we can generate an infinite list of triangle numbers and go from there except that's not going to help us with uh, determining whether or not uh, something's an element because uh, unfortunately the infinite calculations are going to go on forever. So what do we want to do instead is uh, given a value we can calculate all the triangle numbers below that value and then we can determine whether or not that number is a triangle number from there. So let's do that. That sounds like it should be easier. So t nums to x uh, is um, t nums to x one where t nums to of uh, a value and the current value, given that the current value is less than or equal to the value that we've got. Um, nope, sorry. Uh, let's stick another where in there and just very briefly say um, the t num is t num of c let's just call that t so given that t is less than okay given that x is greater than t no that's not going to work either ah it's good fun isn't it trying to work these things out so we know that the uh, we've got the word values there, and what we want to know is know whether or not each of those is an element of the triangular numbers list. Ha ha! So the infinite triangles is the triangles from one, where triangles from x is T num x concatenated with or const onto right so that should get us our infinite triangle number series let's just test that triangles blam lots but we can easily do it. so triangles to n is take while less than or equal to n of triangles that breaks the infinity. Let's try that one. Triangles to uh, 100 and let's just pick a triangle a number that we know is a triangle number which is 55 and just verify that it's in the set. It is. Excellent. And uh, therefore is triangle of n is going to be true if and only if n is equal to the last element of triangles to n. 
dodgy, but should give us an answer. Is triangle 55 true? 54. False, 100. False, 91. True. So we now have a triangle test is triangle. Do we still have our words? We don't because I got rid of them. Uh, that's nasty of me. Never mind. So let's try to solve this very quickly. We want to um, load the words. We then get to map word value over that, which gives us that. We can then filter on is triangle of that list. Oops, couldn't match type expected integer with actual type int. Um, we've been a bit inty here. Where have we got ourselves an int? Could be awkward. What is the type of map word value? W. It's a list of ints, which is understandable. What is the type of is triangle? It's an integer goes to bool. Well, that sucks. Let's let's tell the compiler that we only care about stuff that's small enough. And now we should be able to load the words. And is triangle is an int to bool, so we can now filter all of those out. Now uh, at this point I will try to blur the answers and I won't read them out loud but uh, if you want to do this for yourself then try not to count the number of numbers you can now see on the screen. Uh, however I can get a number which is supposed to be the number of triangle words and uh, I can feed that number into Project Euler and click check and I was right so there you go we have a solution which works thank you very much for watching bye bye